G'day everyone and welcome to our Friday footy feed. Alistair Clarkson says the sooking is over, playing down the grand final rematch element of tomorrow night's clash with Sydney. As the Hawks trained at Waverley today, Clarkson said he expected the game to be played differently to last year's decider. What usually happens in a, in a whole summer of, uh, of us... Uh, weirdos as coaches getting together and there's ten, there's 10 at each club and they come up with all sorts of concoctions of how we can go about it differently. Now Clarkson says he's far from worried about Lance Franklin's goalless couple of weeks, insisting he's still contributing to the team. Buddy centric for mine. It's just like, listen, he's one of 22. He'll play a role for us. If he's kicking a goal or not, we're happy with what he's doing. The out-of-contract forward has kicked just seven behinds in the past fortnight. And an ominous sign for the Hawks and the rest of the competition. The Premiers believe they've still got plenty of improvement left in them. Currently sitting 5-1, and one, the Swans flew into Melbourne this afternoon for their first run on the MCG since last September's triumph. Couldn't really give you a percentage, but we're definitely not at our best yet. Uh, I think we've been improving, and, and last, last week we played some good footy against Brisbane. Uh, but we'll definitely look to continue to get better, and uh, we've definitely got a lot of improvement left. In what could be good news for the Hawks, Swans ruckman Shane Mumford missed the flight, sparking speculation he could miss the game. AFL Chief Executive Andrew Dimitriou believes extenuating circumstances could help Essendon players escape penalties in the supplement scandal. I think Asada are learning more. They're now interviewing the players who are fully cooperating, as have the officials and the coaches. I think Asada and the AFL are pleased with the way the investigation is unfolding. The World Anti-Doping Authority has reaffirmed one of the substances in question, AOD 9604, is banned. As Brent Harvey returns to the North Melbourne side after his six-week suspension, his coach won't rule out having the veteran start as a substitute. Oh, I think it would be a nightmare for the opposition coach. You know, 347th game, he, he's still got to do as he's told. So we'll do the best thing by the team there and he's, um, he's more than willing to do um, the best thing for us to win. Scott expects the Kangaroos' spirit to shine through against the Western Bulldogs as Michael Ferrito and Scott Thompson celebrate 200 and 100 games respectively. Brisbane's Irish import Piers Hanley has thrown his weight behind the concept of an all-Indigenous Australian team taking on Ireland in October's International Rules Series. Fair idea, yeah. I reckon it'd, it'd be a good spectacle then. We have a lot of whippets back in, uh, back in Ireland and obviously the Indigenous boys are, are all very quick and skillful, so... I reckon that'll make for a very good game. Ireland will host this year's series and is the current holder of the Cormac McAnallen Cup after easily beating the Aussies back in 2011. And tonight's top of the table clash between Geelong and Essendon at Etihad Stadium is a sellout. What an awesome way to start round seven. I'm Matt Thompson from all of us here at afl.com.au. Have a great weekend.